Handbrake is on. Here we go. Oh, yeah, baby. Hey, good day everyone, Daniel Legrady here. Hope you are doing well. And today, today is gonna be different. Today, I think, I think I get to drive a car. Yep, there it is in the garage of which I speak is Tribe Luxury Custom here in Orgordy. And I'm gonna park right in front of that, Sylvia. So the garage owner is doing his thing and I'm just looking at the yard here. We've got a Mark II which I'm hoping I get to jump in today. Yeah, not such a, a good conversation by me there, I didn't know what he was saying. Uh, we've got a, uh, a Starion, it says Conquest on there but it, it is of course a, a Starion Auto. But it's a wide body, no stickers to sort of say what's up. Here we've got an R32 GTR, apparently it's a bit of a mess. Okay, people, it's actually happening. Oh, damn, I'm excited. <laughs> I am excited. This is awesome, people. <laughs> Don't know what that is. Handbrake's on. Here we go. Oh, yeah, baby. impressions are pretty good because I'm just excited to be not driving my Suzuki Wagon R. Uh, anyway, so what we're going to do now, we're going to drive it somewhere. I want to have a look under the bonnet because I am woefully ignorant of the Mark II chassis no matter the generation. So I want to learn a bit about it. I'll have to do some Googling. That's just the facts. So yeah, this is going to be a whole lot of me not knowing Jack, but I don't care. It's exciting for me. got gas days to boot <laughs> yeah the gas days aren't staying that's pretty interesting uh, what does it say there GX71 engine is a 1 GEU and that's all I need to know from the start uh, it's fuel injected 6 cylinder engine not unlike my VK Calais interestingly overhead cam very nice so that's what I want to see Okay, now let's have a, a bit of a closer look at the outside of this car. And uh, first thing I guess we should point out is the body style. It is a hard top, though not a true hard top. You'll see that the window frames don't exist. So that, that you would associate with a hard top. And yet we've got, we've got a B pillar. We've got a B pillar people, so not a, not a true hard top. But I point that out because some people think a hard top is what goes on an MX-5. Um, I'm digging these. You see these on all Japanese cars, rain guards. Very cool, it says Toyota right there. Grande, as in the coffee. Um, what is that? Mi, mi na. We're never gonna know people. But let's just go towards the back and you can see there's some sort of shenanigans going on there. And there, it's been repainted and, eh, not, not so nice to be honest. Toyota original uh, mud flaps, very cool. So this was originally a Kagoshima car, Kagoshima Toyo Pet. Yes, Toyo Pet is the dealership, a chain of dealers that sold Toyotas, um, you know, and there were many others. But anyway, Toyota Mark II, Grande, and that is the back, right there. And now to the interior. A few surprises for me, to be honest. Um, he's left the money in. That's odd. 
Uh, now this is what got me. You see, there's a, a foot brake right there, but then the brake releases here. I was not familiar with this at all. That caused me some hardship. The velour trim is in tip-top shape, and for some time it was protected by this plastic, so that's very cool. Now this, this is very interesting. It just occurred to me. Let's check that out. Pop the boot, and I think he's chucked all the junk in the boot, so uh, forgive the mess. Yeah, okay, headrest, whatever. This is a freaking air purifier. I am not familiar with this at all. Replace field every year or 10,000 miles. Severe conditions, like if you fart a lot, I guess. Okay, so we're probably a mere 100 meters from the garage. And uh, I've got to say, I really enjoyed this experience and there's got a couple more cars there um, that I believe in the future I'll be able to do some sort of road test review, tell you my impressions. And uh, I do hope you come along with me. And uh, if you haven't, do check out some recent videos. I'm sure you've missed some. You know, if you don't click that bell and you only watch Mazda videos, YouTube is not gonna tell you when there's a Mazda video. So you have to click that bell, people. So, Otsukare Samadeshita, that was fun.